welcome we will discuss transportation problem the method that i will show today is matrix minima method it is also known as least cost entry method first know this step this is here there are three origins that means from here to will supply and these are the four destinations where we have to supply these are the available stock and these are the requirements this is available stock in first origin this is available stock in second in this way and this is the requirement in destination 1 destination 2 etc these are supplied as it is as the cost per unit suppose we want to supply origin 1 to destination 1 cost per unit will be 21 similarly origin 1 to destination 3 it will be cost per unit will be 25 origin 3 to destination 2 cost per unit will be 27 in this way so in this method while supplying what we are doing first keeping in consideration the least least cost so out of all these suppliers here we can see this is the least one the big one more thing we can do first make a table like it will help us one thing also we will check before starting that total available count it 19 and 11 30 and 13 43 and total requirement 16 16 28 and 15 43 the total available and total requirement is same you have to check it if it is not same then i will show in some other some other methods here first always check it is same so now first find the least cost 30 so here see here the availability is 30 and the requirement in this destination is 50 though requirement is 50 we can supply at the most is 11 so we will supply the maximum because out of 11 and 15 you have to choose the smallest one smallest one is 11 so we will supply 11 in this so now after supplying 11 now here since from origin 1 total 11 was there so we cannot supply anything in all these things this is over hmm. and now what is after supplying 11 this is over but here in this destination 4 the total requirement remains 4 so now we will make a new table in every stage since this one is not there we will not draw this one this is 17 18 14 and 23 and here it is 32, 27, 18, and 41. Okay. So in this, I am not writing O1. Here yeah, actually it is O1 is over. This is O2 and O3. These are the four destinations. Now here, requirement here. 13 is there and here 19 is there. This is the availability, 13 and 19 is there. This 11 is exhausted. Here the requirement is 4, here it is 12, it is 10 and this is 6. After doing always checking 6 and 16 and 12, 28 and 4, 32 and 19 plus 13 is 32 it should be same if it is unequal that means you are making some mistake you have to rectify it so now what we can do we can search which one is the least here 
this one is the list. By chance in a sum, if you are getting two set values, list values, you can choose any one among those. So here we are choosing 14 and here see this. <coughs> Available is 13 and requirement is 12. Though 13 available is there, we can, cannot supply more than 12 because requirement is 12. So we will supply 12 here. As we are supplying 12, this is over and here now requirement remains 1. So we will <coughs> rewrite the thing. Now we see this destination 3, its requirement is fulfilled. Now what we are doing, we will redraw the remaining 3. 17, 18, 23. 17, 18, 23. And here 32, 27, 41. 32, 27, 41. Here now it is 1 and here is 90. Here is 6, 10 and 4. Count 6 plus 12, 16 plus 4, 20, 20. 1 plus 19 is 20. This is O2 and this is O3. And here it is now D1. D2 and D4. These are there. Now see that list is out of all these things. The list is 71. 17. List is 17. So here a requirement is 16 but available is only 1. So we will supply 1 there. Because though 6 requirement is there, but we have the capacity to supply only 1. So we will supply 1. So since here now from this origin, this, this is closed, everything is filled up and here out of 6, 1 is already supplied, so 5 remains. Now what remains is 32, 27, 41 and the only thing remains is this one okay so here it is 5 10 4 here it is 90 check it total requirement is 15 for 19 and total available is also 90 so now we have no op options we have to supply this one 5 this one 10 and this one for. In this way, we can complete our supply. So how many supplies we have to make? We have already made, we can count. This is 3 and 1 4. Here is 1 5 and here is 1 6. So all together in the beginning, count it. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. N plus N is 7 and 7 minus 1 is 6. That is the maximum possible or allowable thing. So hence, it is a feasible solution. This is called the basic feasible solution. So what is our supply? <coughs> solution made. First, we supply this one. This is 11. Next, this one. Next, this one. Then, all the three. So, our total cost becomes, we, have to, eh, we can calculate the cost. Here we supplied 11. So total cost equals to 11 into 13 per unit. Next we supplied here 12 plus 12 into 14 per unit. Next we supplied here 1. 
प्लस वन इंटू सेवेंटीन पाली प्लस ऑल दिस थिंग्स दैट इज फाइव इंटू थर्टी टू प्लस टेन इंटू ट्वेंटी सेवन प्लस फोर इंटू फोर्टी वन आई एम नॉट कैलकुलेटिंग दिस कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड एंड दिस इज योर टोटल कॉस्ट एंड दिस इज द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन आई थिंक आई कैन एबल टू कम इन दी गेट